Welcome back to the show. Today we'll be talking about our custom line of Helm Guardian products that has been created over the past few years based on customer needs. Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about the custom line of products that we've created here? Well, we've just been trying to solve problems for customers since we started. Um, we've got all sorts of things we make, but we have some of the more popular ones here. Uh, the first we can talk about is our adapter rings. So these, let me turn on this other screen here, put this in the middle. These adapter rings are uh, rings that we have designed to help adapt from a common older display to a common newer display. So this one here actually goes from the Garmin 7612 XSV to 8612 XSV. Um, so basically you can pull your old display out, pop this adapter ring in and your new display will screw right to it. We have all the screw holes already done. Um, all these trim rings are actually available in uh, black. They're all black but they have two different sides to them. So I'll peel this off. But one side you can see here is a glossy finish. And then the other side is a matte finish. So you can get that look that you're wanting on your boat with whatever finish you want. Um, we basically uh, try to keep all of our adapter rings uniform so that if you add another, if you need another adapter ring on your boat, it'll look just like this one. So by that, what I mean is that the screw holes are in the same places in the corners, same distance away. So if you have another ring over here for a different unit, they're gonna look identical. Something you should know about these rings is that these are acrylic, so they're very finished looking, very professional looking, but they're very brittle, especially in the winter. You know, it, as they get colder, they get more brittle. So we put the screw holes in here per what the manufacturer says, they're the exact right size. But sometimes the screws are a little bit tight. You just wanna make sure if the screw is too tight, you're not trying to keep jamming it in there because it will crack. You wanna just get it to bite a little bit. If you can twist a screwdriver with two fingers, that's probably the right amount of pressure. If you're having to really crank on it and it's making noises and stuff, that's way too much. So take your time and often we'll even put a screw in there uh, a, a couple, a half a turn or so, then we'll back it out. Then we'll go in three quarters of a turn, back it out, and just keep through that process to get it threaded all the way through, just to make sure you don't crack it. If you want, you can also drill these out a little bit bigger and just use through bolts. You know, that's that's a fine thing to do. It just makes it a little bit more difficult, but it works just fine. We have these available in different thicknesses, and it's based on uh, how they'll be used. So some of these trim rings actually get just sandwiched in between the display and the boat. So if that's the case, and the mounting screws for the display are going into fiberglass behind this trim ring, then we're gonna make it a real thin trim ring out of 1 8 acrylic. But if you actually have to screw this trim ring in using the four corners and screw your display into the trim ring, then we make it out of 3 16 acrylic. We have a ton of options available online for pre-made trim rings. If you don't find one on our website that you are looking for, you can always contact us, call us, and we can make one up for you. They start out anywhere between $60 and go all the way up to $100 for a smaller ring. We make them for stereos, VHFs, autopilots, and pretty much anything you can think of. That brings up a great point about custom ones. So. Uh, we will make them for pretty much anything. Anything. Like if it's a common display, then we know we're not going to make a lot of. Right. We'll still make it, but if it's like something really difficult, that might have an upcharge. But yeah. So all of these are the same price. All the same price. Regardless whether or not it's a custom one or not. Right. Okay. And we can also get other colors made. So we don't advertise the white on our website, but we can certainly make them in white. Just another custom request. Uh, we do ship all of the adapter panels out with a kit that comes with the mounting instructions and it also comes with the black screws to match the panel. Those are stainless by the way. Stainless, stainless steel, steel screws. black screws. Already black. Already black, oxidized. Uh, that brings up a point about these screws. So we use these pan head screws. I'll show you one of these in the center here. These are pan head screws. 
Uh, some people try to use countersunk screws on these, on these trim rings. And what happens is as soon as you try to get it too tight, it'll crack again because this is brittle acrylic. So make sure you use pan head screws and don't countersink it and try to use a countersunk screw. Not a good idea. This is the Fusion AB650, AB755 to Fusion RA60 panel available on one side black matte and the other side black glossy. It comes with the mounting kit and the black stainless steel screws. Another one of our custom panels that we've made here is the Yamaha CL7 to CL5 adapter. These were from the CL7s, I think they're having problems with they're them. They're not making And they them. can't get them anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you have CL7s, the only thing you can replace it with at this point is a CL5. CL5. So, so basically with this panel, uh, you can just pull out your CL7, drop your CL5 into the middle of the adapter ring and attach it to your boat. A lot of boats have a glass mounted display mm -hmm. where it's like completely flush all the way across. So when you run your hands across, you don't feel the display sticking out. Um, and we haven't made one for that yet, but that's, uh, as soon as we have one come through our shop here, we'll make one of those as well, but that's gonna be a problem for people is trying to replace their CL7s with CL5s. Uh, we have the Psyonix camera mounting base, not necessarily an adapter trim ring, but this base here allows you to route the cable from the Psyonix camera through the hardtop without drilling a hole directly underneath where the camera is mounted. Very popular. Hard to mount the camera without this if access is not very easy. Available for $35 on our website. This is a great example of our innovation and how we're using our laser to solve problems for people. Uh, so many people, with, like with the Psyonix camera, for example, they, they couldn't have the cable come directly out below the unit where they mounted it. The cable's got to come out and then go drop into their hardtop somewhere else where their electronics box is. So this solves that problem. and. We not only have it for the Psyonix camera, but we have it for other stuff too. It's whatever, whatever, whatever needs need. solved, we can solve it. Yep. So if you have ideas, leave them in the comments below and let us know. One of our most common trim rings is this one right here from, it uh, goes from a Raymarine C120 to the Garmin 1243. So the Raymarine C120 back in, I don't know, 05 or so was arguably one of the like most popular displays there was. I mean, these things are on boats all over the place. Yeah, and they're huge. Um, and the Garmin 1243 is way smaller because the older units used to have a lot of like peripheral lot of plastic, plastic around the display, but the new ones are mainly display with just Glass. a little bit of uh, frame around them. So uh, this one was really is really popular because the 1243 is the current version of what the C120 was years ago. Or the 8612. Or the 8612 or any of Garmin's newer displays. That's, that's a very popular upgrade. So Jim, what do we do if someone is replacing two big units and instead of using two of these adapter plates, what, what can we do instead of using the adapter plates? I mean, the adapter plates do work fine, but if you want to have one big continuous sheet, that goes into our custom, sort of our custom line of stuff. So you just let us know what you want and we can make it. Uh, we can make anything like that. And anything. You can, we can ship those out? Yeah, I mean, ship them out. We usually get things turned around in, I don't know, two days. So yeah. we can ship them right out and give your dash that custom look that most dashes don't get once they're upgraded. Right. So, yeah. so we have this unique uh, product here that Jim fabricated about a year and a half ago to make the installation of a radar a little bit simpler. So Jim, why don't you tell us about this mount? Radar mounts just kept getting more and more expensive and, and there used to be a, a very simple radar mount on the market like this that uh, is nothing more than a couple plates that bolt to the bottom of the radar and elevate the radar five inches, which you know is all you really need to get it above a, um, if you want to get it above like a surge light or a light, light bar. bar or anything. All you need is about five inches to elevate it. Um, so this is $150. Uh, the other five inch mounts are $300 plus. So I just wanted to have something that kind of appealed to everybody else that didn't want to spend all that money on a radar mount uh, if they didn't have to. These are powder coated aluminum and it's just a couple bent pieces and then we have uh hold that yeah and then we have these 3d printed spacers that we use and these kind of fill in the holes and what that does is it, it'll isolate the screw from the powder coating so that it won't chip and it'll last for years uh, these 
these adapters come in either an M8 or an M10 size hole, so they fit radars from uh, Garmin. Anything. Yeah, anything really. Any, 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 any radar dome. Yep. Yeah, so these are universal to any radar dome. The other really unique thing about this is it has a one and a half degree wedge built into it. I have personally found that most hardtops are level with the deck of the boat, which is level with the water when the boat's at displacement speeds. And it's good to have a little bit of a down angle. So with any other kind of mount, you have to buy a wedge to wedge that radar down. With these, it's one and a half degrees is built in. If you have to go more than that, you can just put a couple washers behind it to elevate it a little bit, but one and a half seems to be the sweet spot for, for any radar for the most part. So let's see this thing. Voila, there you go. Here we have the Garmin 18 XHD dome radar mounted with our custom Helm Guardian radar plate. As you can see, very sleek. You can see the, but if we flip it over here, you can see the, how it mounts onto this. Um, see how it mounts onto the radar. See how it mounts. I mean, I think you said it. <laughs> <laughs> see how this mounts onto the radar. We do provide the bolts and the washers in the mounting kit, along yeah. with the instruction instructions and all the spacers. Yeah, the spacers. So it's aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> looks good. It's got that angle built into it. Um, yeah, you can see the angle really well there actually. Yeah, going you know, sideways. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, just a little subtle angle. So mm -hmm. that's it. Perfect. Good product. Thank you. <laughs> it's my product. <laughs> If you have any ideas on products that you're looking to have custom made or any adapters, any, any problems that you've run into with an installation that you think we could help improve on, comment below so we can help out. We love making creative things and solving problems for your installations and just having it, having a DIY installer able to do things in a professional way. Yeah, yeah, so it looks right. Um, that's what we're all about. So uh, again, leave your comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Cut.